Hey guys and gals, Mike Cricket 113, and this is the President Bill 2 FCC AM FM radio. Real quick video here, we're just going to show you uh, how to test the SWR, and then uh, we'll read the uh, power coming off of the radio right out of the box. So, first things first in the manual, it tells you that you need to use an external SWR meter, that you should always do that, and that's true. You should always do that unless you know exactly uh, <clears throat> what your antenna is rated for, SWR-wise. So anyway, uh, there's the radio there, right out of the box. It does not have a internal uh, um, internal SWR meter, like maybe the McKinley does, uh, and some of their other lines. But, but, you need to use an external. Today we're gonna be using my uh, MFJ uh, 870, MFJ 870 uh, SWR and power meter does PEP. The 870 goes from uh, 1.6 megahertz to 60 megahertz. So 160 to uh, the 160 meter band all the way up to the six meter band uh, and a little bit over. So we'll be using that today. So I have it centered on uh, the center frequency channel 20, which is uh, 27205. So let me show you on the Grandmaster how you do this. This is pretty similar to uh, to other uh, SWR meters. I particularly like this analog one. So I have it set to 30 watts because we're pretty much low power. This function toggle here, you want to put it to SWR set. And you want to key up your PTT button here. So there we go. And then you want to use the SWR uh, knob to get it kind of lined up to the calibration line, which we will try to do here. Uh, thing, I swear this thing's gotten touchy over the years. So there's that. And now we'll kind of zoom in a little bit here and see if we can, uh, I don't know if that's any better or not. Uh, let's see here. Nope, that works. Uh, let's go back to that. I guess that works. Anyway, so now that we've uh, calibrated, you want to turn that back over to forward. Or no, you want to turn it to a SWR test to see what you're getting on the meter. And it looks like we're getting a 1.2 and a half. 1.2 and a half. So 1.2... Uh, 1.3 to 1, not too bad. Anything below a 1.5 uh, is uh, what you're looking for. And uh, this isn't too bad off the IMAX 2000. So while we're here, we're going to put on the forward, which is going to measure your, your well, for right now, I, this, I have it measured, measuring for average power. So we'll see what the radio is uh, tuned up to. And just over four watts, just over four watts, maybe like four and a quarter. So uh, just about four watts. So, you know, I'm not sure how accurate the meter is, So, uh, but it's pretty darn close. So right out of the box, you're getting uh, four watts of power from the uh, President Bill, and that is on AM. So I'm going to toggle over to FM, uh, which is full duty cycle. And uh, you will not see any swing on there. You will never see swing on FM, so you guys know. And uh, But you will on AM and sideband. So now that we have that established, we're going to go back to AM. It sounds like we got some people out there. All right, we got somebody from Baton Rouge. All right. Anyway, so let's see what kind of the peak power is. <clears throat> the PEP. Audio, audio, audio check. So it looks like our peaks are coming out at 10 watts. So it's swinging to 10 watts on AM. So not too bad. Not too shabby for a uh, for a uh, stock radio out of the box. Um, so anyway, this is my Cricket 113 uh, showing you the, uh, the President uh, Bill 2 AM FM uh, mobile rig, SWR test, and the uh, PEP and average power. Hope you have a good one. Take care of yourself.